Hey guys, KKS, bringing you, to, uh, bringing you a YouTube tutorial on how to make your first ever Blender intro. So first you want to basically right click the box and click delete. You want to right click the ca camera and click delete. Well that failed. <coughs> now you want to click 7 on your number pad, not on the top row of numbers, on the number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard. Now, what you want to do, you want to click Shift and A together, and you'll come up with this. Now you want to go down to Text and click Text. Now you want to drag that along to the middle and center the text. Now, because you don't know how high it is, you want to just bring it, well, just roughly over the top. Then you'll click Seven on your number pad again. Now, you, to edit the text, you click Tab, which can be located on the left hand side of your keyboard. Now you want to type whatever you want. So I'm going to type. KKS, looks like a short version of my YouTube name. You're on there, KKS. Now, you want to get, um, you want to go click on font on the right hand side of the editing system. Then you want to go um, to where it says geometry. You want to click extrude and then you can adjust how much extrude you want from there. And, oh, that's a lot. So, just going to click some. On my keypad. I'm just going to adjust this to what 200. There, 240, as you can see, that's a normal amount. Then you click Shift A, and then we're going to add mesh plane. Now that's like a little surface. Now, because it's on top, you don't want that, you want it underneath just underneath. You want the text higher though. So I'm going to grab the text, I'm going to raise it, I'm going to raise the plane as well. And I'm going to click 7 on my number pad again to get to this view. Now you want to right click the plane which is already highlighted, then you want to click S and then you want to expand it to about that big. It doesn't matter how big as long as it covers a lot. Now you want to adjust the location of your um, text to the center. Now what you want to do is you want to add a colour so you can or a texture. So you go and click on material which is the little squiggly ball, you can click add new, but I'm gonna add a texture, so I'm gonna click new here and now I'm gonna click um something like stushy, whatever the hell that is, or some of these um so magic. Yeah, magic looks nice. So to so that's probably what your text is going to look like. Now if I right click the board, the paint, um, plane, you would probably want to give it a colour, not a texture. So I'm going to, I've clicked on where it says material, which is the round ball, which is a colour. You want to click new, and you want to click where it says diffuse. You want to give it probably, like by going onto the bar with the blend in it, and going straight down there. Now to get preview, you click F12, but we don't have a camera and you want to preview it from. So you want to click Shift A again, you want to click camera. Now I'll give you a camera, right? You click on the blue thing to raise it. Over here. So about there. Now I'm gonna move it over here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna Okay, I'm gonna center that back because I don't want to move that. So Okay, I just want to get the blue thing up again, so I can't exactly see it. But I want to get it close, and I want to centre it into position again. Oh god, I can't find my camera. Um, I'm going to put the camera low. So I'm going to click O on the number keypad to see the location of this. Now you can right click and hold that and then click the <coughs> left click to uh, uh, assign it to a place. Now that you have a camera angle, you're going to click 7 again on your number keypad. So that's the angle. Um, so yeah, now you want to go back here. Now what you want to do is you want to click F12. That gives you a preview of what you've done. So I'm going to exit by clicking escape. Now I'm going to right click on the text 
and you can yeah, the texture has not gone on this yeah yet because I'm not exactly sure how to assign your texture yet Whew. so um you can go to material you click add new and you can change the color from there so I'm going to take it to dark red now let's preview dark red on that dark red looks nice or you can add whatever color you want now you can wonder where the lighting is coming from around here so you want to escape and I, this thing, the one that I'm moving, that is your lamp. So that is where your light source is coming from. So I'm going to move it down here. So now I'm going to F12 to preview. As you can see, that's where the light's coming from. Now that looks pretty nice, as you can see. So you may be wondering, is that all you can do? No, you can, you, no that's not all you can do. You can do a lot more things, like hundreds of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to escape out of this and I'm going to add extra text. So I'm going to shift A, text. Now text is not in the right place. Now you want to go to an angle where you can exactly see where everything is. I like, oh god, this is amazing. You're going to click one, in your, one on your number pad to get this view. So you can exactly see how high everything is. And then I'm going to go back to the zero to your camera view. Then you want to click S because it's already highlighted text. To, you want to make it much smaller. And you can write sub. Um, you can put it right there. You want to edit it. I'm going to write sub. Now I want to extrude it, which means I'm going to make it 3D. So I go to font. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go to where it says geometry. I'm going to extrude it to about 240. Now I'm going to preview that. Now that looks nice and sleek. So that that is basically how you can make what you want. Now to make the video thing, you can do a load of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very simple one. So I'm going to click Escape. I'm going to go here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag these out so you can't see them. So. So I'm gonna. This is what I want. So I'm gonna click on KKS. And I'm gonna click I, location. And I'm gonna click on sub and do the exact same thing, location. Now I'm gonna drag KKS straight back to straight here. No, I'm not. I'm gonna. Basically, when you click location, that created a keyframe. So I'm gonna click on 40 on the frames. Well, and then I'm gonna drag it in here. And then I'm gonna click. Now, uh, that's not exactly where I want it. Which was it? I want it around, what, there. Now it looks better. No, it doesn't. Red. So I'm just going to put it into the exact place that I want it. So I want it around about there. So, I'm going to click I, location. I'm going to click on sub. And I'm going to drag that in to exactly where I want it. Up there. I'm going to click I, location. Now if you go to the bottom and where it says go back, if you play it, you can see how quick it goes in and everything. You can't exactly preview the video playing by F12. Now you may be wondering, okay, I've created that. How would you produce it? So you would go to the camera, where on um, the right side editing bar, the little camera symbol, and you would go all the way to the bottom, and then where it says PNG, you would click to AVI codec. And when it says output, it says TMP, but we don't know where TMP is. So you want to click desktop, to save it on your desktop. And then you want to click, um, wait, what do you want to click? You want to click accept. Once you've clicked accept, then it's going to save it on your desktop. So how do you save it, you may be wondering. Um, you go up to here, where it says render. You want to render it as an animation. And now it will re render and save on your desktop. When it's completed, You'll be able to play it in Dimix on your desktop. So that um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more Blender tutorials and stuff like that. And Minecraft and Skyrim. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.